busy month this is turning out to be. At the beginning of the month, there was an announcement from the Russian state news agency TASS that um, the Russians have discovered extraterrestrial bacteria. If you missed that story, uh, to recap really, really uh, quickly, the Russians were doing a spacewalk outside the International Space Station, and their mission for that day was to take cotton swabs and swab down the side of the ISS. Uh, they were supposed to take the samples back into the International Space Station, where we have DNA sequencers that could analyze any kind of bacteria, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But for some reason, the Russians did not do that. Instead, they held on to the cotton swabs, the bacterial samples, for three years. <laughs> three years before returning those samples back down to Earth, to Russia, to do the analysis on. Yeah, and apparently out of all those samples that they took, 19 of them showed signs of extraterrestrial life. Now, how they can differ differentiate between extraterrestrial bacteria and terrestrial bacteria, which means bacteria that came from Earth, I do not know. They did not say. Actually, they haven't said much about it since then. But what did NASA say about it on the exact same day that this announcement was made? This is what NASA put out. Uh, for public consumption, think about that for a minute. How many millions of dollars of our taxpayer dollars does NASA get? And the Russians are announcing one of the most historic announcements ever. And NASA's announcing this. <laughs> you think I'm making a joke? I'm not making a joke. It's just so sad. You got to laugh. But anyway, <laughs> so what's happened this week? Big announcement that was made public. Uh, cold ass busted. Our government was when it came to a black ops operation that was made public. Apparently, $22 million of our taxpayer money was, sent, was spent on a black ops program. Um, to study extraterrestrials. Now they say that they're not studying extraterrestrials or UFOs or anything else since P Project Blue Book. That, it, that they're not doing that. But yet we know billions of, of dollars of our taxpayer dollars disappear in these black ops programs. And nobody knows what that money's going for, what it's being used for. But this week, our government got busted. Let's take a look. My God! An unidentified flying object. Hello, oh, thank you. Spotted by two Navy fighter pilots flying high above the clouds. There's a thing. It's a rotating. These newly released videos from the Department of Defense, published by the New York Times and Washington Post, part of a once secret government program to investigate sightings of so called anomalous aerial vehicles in the skies. Also, information that former Senator Reid uh, tried to keep information about this entire program out of public view. That's right, Wolf. The New York Times says Reid acknowledged to them that he and two other senators, Ted Stevens and Daniel Inouye, both deceased, did not want public debate on the Senate floor over this program. Reid told the Times that the funding for the project was so-called black money, meaning that was secret money for classified programs. They just didn't want it talked about. I hate to gloat, but I will. <laughs> the reason why people who have been studying the field of ufology have been saying for decades and decades and decades the United States government has been running a secret ops program, a black ops program, for decades and decades, spending billions and billions of our taxpayer dollars and releasing no information to us whatsoever. Um, so the fact that our government got cold ass busted kind of does my heart good. But anyway, did you know that this year alone, UFO uh, sightings have increased by tenfold? Um, just to give you a list of some of the top cities for this year, for this year, 
Phoenix, 929 sightings. Las Vegas, 639. Seattle, 616. Chicago, 562. Portland, 528. Las Vegas, 525. Tucson, 480. Uh, San Diego, 477. Houston, 466. Denver, 429. Austin, 426. New York City in Manhattan, 418. Orlando, 390. Springfield, 380. Albuquerque, 376. Miami, 375. The list goes on and on and on. But did you know that the very first UFO sighting took place in 1440 BC? It was recorded by a scribe for Tutmos III. The report stated that there were fiery disks that were floating over the skies. So with that said, let me give you another video. This one is coming from Russia. It's a really good one. It's a triangle-shaped UFO um, floating through the sky. It's a short video, but it, it's pretty good. Notice how slowly it's floating through the sky. It just seems to be hovering there. Not an airplane. Not anything that we can recognize. going past that light post right there. That little red light at the very bottom, that's some other kind of light that was in the sky. Um, they didn't identify it. I don't know if that was part of this uh, piece of UFO video or not, but I uh, thought it was very unusual that there's another light, a red one. It's just glowing right underneath the triangle-shaped a UFO. So, highly unusual, very unique, coming out of Russia. Now let's look at some that was posted to uh, MUFON. <laughs> if you can hear that in the background, that's my dog snoring. Now let's look at uh, some videos that were posted to UFON and some pictures that were posted to UFON just today alone. It's moving. And we don't know what it is. There it is, whatever it is. That's strange. It's very strange. Those were just uh, uploaded to MUFON just today alone. Um, some really great pictures and videos. Y'all, if you see anything strange, if you see anything weird in the sky, whip out your cell phone, whip out a camera if you have it, take pictures. Please upload that information to MUFON uh, so researchers like myself uh, can can get a hold of that information so we can research it ourselves. Um, very, very important. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you liked it even more, hit the subscribe button. You guys have a really great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.